Hi everybody, Larry Graves here, and uh, as some of you might know, I I had bought the uh, Beatles box set a couple of years ago when it came out in 2009, almost three years ago, and it is everything they ever recorded on uh, 13 original, well, 13 original studio albums, digitally remastered in stereo. So there you go. And it also comes with a uh, documentary on each of the CDs. Just a short documentary for each album. But just uh, a few days ago, I finally bought The Beatles in Mon. And what this is, is it's when The Beatles released their albums in the 60s. Up to, up to the uh, Beatles' White Album, the original albums were first mixed in mono. So they are what most people would want to hear in the 60s, because most people, especially in the early 60s, did not have stereo record players. And then they would do stereo mixes for the high-end people. And I guess uh, from what I've read, the engineers wouldn't take quite as much time on the stereo mixes, and the Beatles would usually not be there for the stereo mixes, they were, but they were there for the mono mixes. And there is quite a difference between some of the songs and some of the albums. And I can't really go into the technical stuff of it, <laughs> but uh, it's quite, quite an experience to hear some songs. For instance, uh, on the Beatles' White Album in Mono, there's quite a few different mixes. And in fact, uh, Helter Skelter, where Ringo screams out, I've got blisters on my fingers, is not even on there because it fades out about a minute earlier. And another one is on uh, Sgt. Pepper, uh, She's Leaving Home. I believe on the mono mix, it's the authentic mix because the uh, stereo one is slowed down little bit and it's in a, so it's in a different key. I don't know why, if that was a mistake or if they did that on purpose. But. And what I really like about the Beatles in Mono is the packaging for each album is, is pretty authentic to the original vinyl releases. And it comes with a, a very nice uh, booklet with pictures in case you don't know how to read. They uh, all come wrapped in very uh, good cellophane, plastic, whatever you want to call it. Here's the, the Beatles' very first album, Please, Please Me. And there's the back with all the original, uh, because on the stereo box set, it's not quite as original, not quite as authentic. Even the cardboard, uh, casing or whatever you'd like to call it. And when you open it up, it comes with the authentic Parlophone label, which was the Beatles label, of course, in written. And it even comes with a uh, record sleeve that I guess came with the original vinyl album. The, the other thing that I, I really enjoy about listening to the mono mixes is especially earlier on with the early albums like Hard Day's Night and all that, some of the albums, the stereo, the vocals would be way over on one side and then most of the, the guitars and bass or whatever would be on the other side or the drums and sometimes it wasn't quite that enjoyable to listen to on the headphones. So. Uh, some songs are better in stereo, some songs are better in mono. So what you get with the mono box set is you don't get all of the Beatles albums because Abbey Road, the soundtrack to Yellow Submarine and Let It Be were officially released in stereo. So you'd have to, you know, if you're only going to get the one box set and one of the mono box set, you'd have to buy those three stereo CDs separate. And uh, this also comes, besides the fir their first ten original albums, it comes with a two-disc 
The Beatles' mono masters, which are songs that were not released on their uh, official albums, including a lot of their hits, like uh, Hey Jude, Lady Madonna, Revolution, uh, Paperback Writer, Day Tripper, We Can Work It Out, I Want to Hold Your Hand. It's amazing, a lot of these were just singles and they never even included them on their albums. I bet Nickelback doesn't do that. So I'll just show you the difference between the one uh, album. This is the Beatles White Album for the stereo box, from the stereo box set. And it is embossed like it was originally, but it's just the cover. And then that's the inside. And you open it up like that and like that. And it does come with the miniature replica of the uh, poster that was included in, in the White Album with lyrics. The authentic uh, Apple label for the White Album. But the individual pictures that you received with the original White Album are just on this like that. Which is still kind of cool. The Beatles White Album for the mono, I, like, I want to say mono, mono. I knew a girl named Mona. She moaned a lot. So, and, and these came with the plastic and for my stereo ones, they, they didn't. So there you go. This is just like the original vinyl album with the embossed uh, Beatles thing. Although it doesn't have the edition number. And on the back, it's just plain white. You open it up and it's just like the original vinyl album. Very same glossy and the vinyl records you would come out on top at least in Britain I'm not sure if it's the same in the States and Canada I don't remember that far back once again it comes with the poster basically the, the same one as uh, stereo mixes That's what I used to love about vinyl albums, was getting big posters and other stuff. And there's basically the same label. And of course the other side two it would be, or side four, the half apple. Probably one of the best logos. Or label logos of all time. And of course the uh, s record sleeve that I guess came with the original. And what's really neat is miniature separate pictures of each beetle, just like uh, what came in the uh, original final albums. Paul's in here somewhere. Oh, George's. These would originally have been, well, from that, it would be, I believe, kind of like that day. Here's another one, Magical Mystery Tour. And it says, uh, includes 24-page full-color picture book. And yes, it does, just like the original. Open it up. There's the book inside, stapled inside. I used to have that on my wall. Not my Facebook wall, my bedroom wall. But the only thing I noticed that wasn't as authentic as the original vinyl albums was Sgt. Pepper, very same. Open it up, the background, the, the back of the album with all the lyrics. The original Jeepers. The original psychedelic picture sleeve. But it does not come with the uh, cut.
cutouts of the mustache, which I always thought was kind of dumb anyway, even when I was 10 years old. But it still would have been kind of neat to they had replicated that. So I guess you would only have the stereo box set and the mono box set if you are a big Beatles fan. And believe me, I am a, a huge Beatles fan, and uh, there are many Beatles fans who have both box sets. And it's well worth uh, checking out at some point. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you.